Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Visual Studio 2022. We will look at downloading and installing all the necessary components to get us started. We will also create our first project. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do and like the video as well. So let's get into it then. So as you can see, to get us started, there are a couple of steps that we're going to have to take. So first of all, we're going to open a browser. So I have, um, I have this browser with a Google search Visual Studio. So you open the browser and then you search Visual Studio on Google. So the first result will provide you with this Visual Studio. So this is on, the, this is on uh, visualstudio.microsoft.com. So you check the link very carefully. So once you've got the right link, we click on it. So as you can see, uh, we are now in, inside the Microsoft uh, website. So here, we'll be able to download and install the Visual Studio. So we scroll down. We come to this bit here, meet the Visual Studio family. So as you can see here, we'll be able to download and install Visual Studio as well as the Visual Studio code. So the Visual Studio code is a standalone source code editor to run that runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Yeah, so, and on the left side is the Visual Studio. So this is the most comprehensive IDE for .NET and C++ developers on Windows. Yeah, so, we select um, this bit here. As you can see, it's a drop down. So we've got uh, the community, professional, and enterprise versions of the uh, Visual Studio. So for our case, or in our case, we're going to select the community, which is not a paid version. Okay. So once we select this here, we will be downloading a Visual Studio installer, not the Visual Studio, the installer. I'm not going to select it because I've already downloaded it, but I'm just going to walk you through um, all the necessary steps. So once you once you download the installer executables, you select on it, so you'll be prompted to run it. So you 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 run it to install it. So once you've installed the uh, once you've installed the installer, the Visual Studio installer. Uh, you'll be taken to a page similar to this. I'm just going to show you. Just one second. So you'll be taken to a page similar to this. So here you'll be able to select what workloads is applicable to you. Here you can select um, the ASP.NET and web development. So this will actually help you. It will help you build uh, web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET, HTML, JavaScript, containers, and whatnot. You'll be able to also select um, Python development, Azure development, Node.js, um, .NET desktop development, and whatnot. Yeah, so there are a bunch of lots of stuff that you can you can do or you can select here. So once you, uh, this is on the workload side. So here on the individual components, you'll be, uh, you'll be able to select the components individually. We will come back to this part here in my upcoming videos. Yeah, but obviously you can have a look and scroll around to see whatever uh, components that will be applicable to you. We can also select the language pack here. So this will actually install uh, a language that is applicable to you. So as you can see, we've got a bunch of languages all over the world here. Yeah? So you can use that. And we've got installation locations. So here is where uh, the C, I mean the Visual Studio file will be installed on your computer. So it's not really necessary for this here. Yeah? So let's get back to this here. So as you can see here, yeah, once you've selected all the uh, all the necessary components that you need actually yeah, because I, I've, I've got mine downloaded and installed so there's no need for that but once you're done with that bit here so you can click on this here make sure you select install while downloading and you select this bit here you see mine is say mine says close because i've already downloaded most of the stuff so if i select what i've not checked here it, it, it's going to show modify okay 
because I've already got a Visual Studio installed. So for your part here, yeah, it might say install. So once you've selected it, you go you, you go through the step here. Yeah? So once you the download of the Visual Studio has completed, which might take a while, it might take a bunch of files. This is what you're going to get. This is the page that you're going to get. Okay. But I mean since I've already downloaded and installed the Visual Studio, I'm going to show you something. So we are going to launch it. So, so while launching, the first page that it will take you to will be the a page that will be that you'll be prompted to, to sign in with your Microsoft account or to create a Microsoft account. Or you can skip it if you want to. Okay. So once you go through that step, you'll be taken into a um, another step where you you'll be prompted to select a theme so you can select a color theme for for your visual studio you can select blue dark and whatnot yeah and on top of it yeah you can select um, environments I've, um, i mostly select the general environment but you can select c sharp to to use the visual studio specifically for c sharp code and you can go out you can go back and change it but obviously it's, it's, it's always better to select the general Okay, so once you're done with that bit, you'll be taken to a page like this, okay, where now you can get started. So on this on this right side here, to get started, you can you can clone a repository. This will actually get code from an online repository like GitHub or Azure DevOps. Or you can open a project or a solution from your local Visual Studio folder or you're from your computer or you can open a local folder this this will actually open a, an, already, an already existing website web project c -sharp project solution and whatnot okay or you can create a new project this is what we're going to do so we're going to, we're going to create a new project but before we create a new project I'm going to show you something very quickly instead of clicking on the creating a new project we're going to go continue without code so this will actually open a, um, an empty visual studio with no code here so we, we come to the file here we file new so here the new we can create a new project or you can you can get a new project from a repository or we can clone a repository. I mean, we can clone a repository from GitHub or whatever. Or we can click on the start window. So this will be will be taken back to where we were, the start window, whilst we've got the Visual Studio opened at the background. Okay. So we click on the create a new project. So here we'll be prompted with a bunch of templates. Now we can select what uh, project we want to create. We come to the all project type. So here, this is the bunch of projects that we can use. We've got loads of them, okay? Loads, loads and loads and loads of project types that we can use and the platforms. We've got um, a couple of platforms that we can also use, Android, Azure, iOS, Linux and whatnot, okay? And then we've got the languages. So here you can select all languages to show all projects from all languages or you can select a particular language for uh, for for the video sake here yeah, we're going to select the c sharp okay and we're going to type console for console app yeah so we're just going to start quickly a console app yeah so as you can see this is the result that we get so we've got a project template for a c sharp console app this is for creating a command line application that can run on .NET. On Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Okay, so we select a console app, we click on the next, then we click on here. Obviously, you can select and you can configure your project details like the project name, uh, the solution name, and whatnot. Okay, we click on the next, and here, obviously, we can select uh, the .NET framework that we want to use, and then we create the project. So this might take a while, so please just bear with me while the whole thing loads up, okay?
So as you can see here now, uh, we've got a very simple console app created for us, which actually prints out hello world, yeah? So first of all, to be able to run this project, you can, you can, you can press the F5 or you can, you can press this green button here. So this is what we're going to do. So once you press on this bit here, uh, the project will start building. So this is the output of the project build here. So however the project is being built is being output here. So this um, right side, this, this, this is where you have your solution explorer. So the solution explorer contains a folder and that which contains um, your project files, okay? So as you can see, it's, it's, it's very simple. And if you look at it here, we've actually got the, we've got the, the, the console app running. So as you can see, we've got the hello world being um, outputted or output, however you want to use it. So very simple. And I hope I've actually led you to the point that you can start creating your own Visual Studio applications and whatnot, yeah. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel because I've got lots of videos coming up. And have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.